I don't know where this is. I'm going to need to look at some other landscape clues to figure this out. In this episode, I'm testing my knowledge of bollards, or the reflectors you find on the side of the road to see if I know where different bollards around the world are located. Hello everyone and welcome back to the GeoGoose channel, where today I'm continuing my road to being a GeoGuessr Pro and I'm starting my bollard study. I'm going to be taking a look at the different bollards or reflectors around the world and to see if I know which country they belong to. Now, full disclosure, I'm not amazing at bollards. I do know some from my old days of playing but not as many as I would have liked to know. So we're going to go into this map here created by Mouse with Beer, and we're just going to see how I do. We're going to test my knowledge. We're going to play, let's say, we'll give myself a minute with no moving just so I can look at the bollard and try and figure out where I am. Um, let's get started. Let's just get straight into the video. There's no point in, in delaying. And wow, okay, I guess this is meant to be played no moving, panning, or zooming. This immediately feels like a Canadian sign, but I'm just going to allow myself no move. Um, just to get some extra hints because I'm it's all about learning right now, right? It's not about just guessing. Oh, do I know this? Where is it? Yes So this is definitely Canada. This feels like probably Ontario or maybe Alberta. I, I'm not really sure License plates on the back. I think those are Ontario license plates I know that's not what I'm supposed to do But I knew this was Canada just because I live in Canada and I've seen not this exact sign But this maximum 30. This is a Canadian speed sign. I've seen these children playing signs actually now that i look at it there are no front license plates so i don't think we're in ontario i think we might be in quebec because maximum in french is the same in uh in is in english it's maximum or maximum so i'm gonna guess we're in quebec somewhere maybe near uh, montreal and let's see let's see how we do i mean i know we're in canada that's the big thing here and yeah we were just in montreal so i should have just guessed on the island i would have gotten an amazing score and if you didn't know montreal is an island take a look at this little little boot shaped island little j-shaped island so cool trivia for you let's play the next round okay so we got this little weird stone on the side of the road now i can use some other context clues to maybe help me out we're driving on the left and we have very red soil with a red reflector do i know where this is i mean is this ever like northern australia northern territory i don't think so it doesn't really feel like it could this be south africa maybe oh no i feel like i'm gonna be embarrassed this south africa australia toss-up is something that i don't mess up usually or at least i didn't used to but i think this is probably south africa let's just let's have a look let's go into south africa it's really red soil so maybe we're a little more northern like up here um, you know more in line with the with the northern part of Australia. I think that's probably what it is so Let's take another look at this bollard this like concrete cylinder with a number just sitting on top number two I don't know if there are highways in South Africa that are number two Okay, it was South Africa. It was just outside of Joburg So let me take another look at that I want to look at that bollard again and really drill it into my head that that is South Africa because you know if, if you're one of the people that really confuses South Africa with Australia a lot that might be a more difficult round for you and would you look at this i think the coverage has been updated i don't see the bollard here anymore on google maps okay well that's unfortunate but we saw it in the round uh so it is what it is we got the country correct we got the region correct so let's move on to the next one okay this is an interesting bollard it's a big orange square it's sort of a rounded post oh no so we're driving on the right because these reflectors are facing me. Oh, this type of guardrail is only found in certain countries, I believe. Let's see. Oh, there's a sign right there. I wish I could move. This kind of feels like... Oh, I'm not even sure. I mean, it's definitely Europe. My gut said Spain, but I think the Spanish bollards are different from what I remember. I think they have a little yellow strip, but the landscape kind of looks Spanish. Maybe we're somewhere a little further east. With these dry rolling hills. Maybe it could be a weird Italian one. I don't think it's Italy. Maybe like Serb... Oh, maybe Romania? Hungary? Serbia? Somewhere over here where it gets kind of like this? I'm going to guess in this region. I don't know which country has these bollards, but we are about to find out. Oh, it was Portugal. Oh, I was so close with Spain. I was right in saying that it looked like a Spanish landscape. But those are Portuguese bollards. Okay, so let me remember this now. Let's take a look at this bollard. A big, thick orange square with a with a black diagonal part. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
I didn't know Portugal had these uh, this flat style of guardrail. Now, to be fair, this one is more the typical one you'd see, um, at least the ones I would see near me, and I think is the more common one worldwide, but okay. I should have figured out that this was Portugal. That is really on me. I, well, I should have guessed Spain, because like I said, it did feel Spanish, and I, I messed it up. I ended up going Eastern Europe because I panicked, thinking there's no way this is Spain. But... My gut on the landscape was correct, so that's unfortunate, but now we know the orange square is the Portuguese bollard. Okay, I got it. Now, I don't see a bollard here. Am I missing something? I don't think it's these. These are just street cones. Uh, okay, I think I'm missing something, so I guess we just guessed the country. Aparcamiento Jose Barnes. The fully red filled in sign, that's something you usually see in... Spain, I think. Baca Ochoa. I I want to say this is Spain. I think this is Spain. This feels European, but I don't see a bollard. It, it might have been pointing to one that I just missed, or maybe the round has been updated. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm gonna go into Spain. Ooh, crossing signs are another thing I'd like to I'd like to get into at some point soon. I know Harrier on YouTube, if you've watched his channel, has a great video on crossing signs. But yeah, I'm just going to guess somewhere in the middle of Spain. I think it's Spain. I, I missed the bollard here. I'm not really sure what's going on. But um, yeah, it was just Spain and Murcia. So that must be a Spanish crossing sign. I'm not going to focus on those this video. Unfortunately, I didn't see the bollard. I might have just missed it. Let me know if you saw it. But all right, that's fine. Uh, we'll move on to this round. This is a very generic bollard. Black diagonal, very generic European bollard, I should say, with a white reflector, long white reflector in the middle of the black Hmm. Now, there are a few countries that do this, I believe. Um, but I don't remember which ones. I don't remember which ones. We see white license plates, so it's not Luxembourg. I know Luxembourg's bollard looks kind of like that, I think. Um, I don't quite remember. There's probably language on that that I can't see, or maybe they're just lines. Maybe it's just a vent. It's, it looks like European plates, though. I don't see a blue strip, which is a little concerning. Um... Could this ever be, like, Germany? It, like, I don't think so. Just black and white. Let's get into the map. It's not Italy. I know some of these bollards. I'm sort of just blanking countries out, so I'm just going to guess Germany. I don't know if that's right. It was Switzerland. Was that low camera? Did I miss low camera Switzerland? Oh, no. Oh, it was low camera. How did I miss that it was low camera? In one of my other videos, I had Japan and I explained the low camera, but I was so focused on the bollards and the cars and the landscape, and it makes so much sense that there was no blue strip on the license plate because Switzerland is not part of the EU, so they don't have that blue strip on the left side of the European license plate. Oh, that is my fault completely. I should have known that that was Switzerland. All the hints were there. That's just something I'm going to learn with time, though. And the more I play this game, the more I'm going to instantly recognize low camera, the more I'm going to recognize, you know, no blue strips on the plate, and the more I'm going to recognize Switzerland. So Germany was not a bad guess. The landscape, probably guess too far north in Germany, but um, it's not a bad guess. It's a bordering country, so I'll live with it. So the first game was not awful. I got the Canadian one. I got it was Montreal right away. Um, I, the big miss here was Rome, guessing Romania on Portugal when I said it looked Spanish. Um, guessing Spain correctly. Guessing South Africa correctly. That one was actually tough. I was a little scared. It didn't look like the place where you would mostly get red soil in Australia. Um, and guessing Germany on Switzerland was really bad. Not recognizing it. But we're going to go for one more. We're going to take one more shot at this. A one minute per round. No moving. I'm allowed to pan. I'm allowed to zoom. And let's get right into it. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So, ballers with a black top like this. You guys may know if you watch a lot of GeoGuessr content. They're found in Austria and Slovenia. But, the problem is, look at this. It looks like Soviet style. Look at these poles. Look at these houses. It looks like something out of a Soviet movie. Not to mention the Cyrillic language. Uh, Gostinica. Uh, Gostinica. Uh, Pusk. Pusk. Something like that. So it's Russian sounding and look at this intersection. It's just covered in bollards. So this could be Russia. Um, Rhone Alps Paris. North of, so that's a French truck. I feel like these bollards with the black tops, this could be Russia or it could be somewhere down here in like Montenegro or Albania. Um, but I think it's just Russia. 
I think it's just going to be Western Russia somewhere with the, with the French truck. So let's just go with Russia because we saw Cyrillic language. It was Russia. It was way further east than I thought. So interesting that those bollards, let me go click on them again. But the black tops, they can be found in Russia as well. That's something I, I wasn't really sure of. But one thing I know, I just saw the language. I saw the Soviet style architecture. Um, one thing I, I do remember now, now that I'm looking at this round again, one thing that Russia loves to do is just put bollards everywhere around intersections. I believe some of the pros call it bollard spam, which is kind of funny. You just see bollards everywhere around major intersections. So very Russian thing. So I'm glad I got the country right. Not very many points, but let's move on to the next round. Okay. Big wide open road, big separated highway. I mean, you see roads like this in the U S right? Like there's a lot of pickup trucks, three lanes going one direction. I mean, where are the bollards here? Are, are, is it these, these little reflectors on the side of the road? I can't say I'm very familiar with them. And you got some over here as well. So I assume this is what they're talking about. These little posts on the side of the road with the reflectors. I'm guessing this is American. I mean, look at the amount of pickup trucks. Look how big and wide this road is. Now, as for where in the U.S., that's something I'm really not very good at. You can see a reddish hue to some of this concrete. I don't know if that means anything. It feels a little warmer, so I'm going to guess somewhere southern, like maybe Georgia. Like Georgia, Alabama, something like that I feel like could be a good guess. Um, let's take a look at these again. Yellow on one side, white on the other. They're like, there seems to be in pairs of two with these little metal posts with just double reflectors on the side of the road. So I'm going to drill that into my head. Oh, that was just Michigan. Oh, I am so bad at guessing where I am in the United States. I thought that looked warm and southern, but guess what? We're basically in Canada here. Um, my fault completely. Again, I someone who's better at me than me at looking at trees would probably know that. But that's a Michigan bollards, I assume, because the United States like to split their things up by state, not as a full country like you might see across in Europe. So I'm assuming these are Michigan bollards. These long metal poles, well, so I guess short metal poles with these white reflectors on the tops and yellow on the other side of the road okay cool the tuskegee airman memorial highway very cool location so got the country right again which is a nice streak that i'm on oh boy oh boy okay let's zoom in i think i know the city i th i think this is ikaluit in nunavut in canada i, I could be wrong Ooh, is this oh this car might not be that though okay I might be completely wrong. Let's take a look. What's the road angle? The road angle is heading northwest. Let's just see if I might be right. But I did that without the bollard. I did that just by the city. I mean, it very well could be, right? Like, we could be on this road here. Is there a city behind us? Yeah, there very well could be. If I'm looking to my west, does it kind of bend slightly to the north? A little bit. Yeah, I think this could be where I am. So let's look at this bollard here. This big metal pole with just a big green piece on it with a white piece on top. So I'll remember that and these mirrors on the car. But I think this is a Kaluit. I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm right. Oh, it wasn't a Kaluit. It was in Nukjuak in northern Quebec. I didn't know this city had coverage. This makes so much more sense. But let's take a look at that bollard again. I, I don't think this is a Quebec specific bollard. I think this is specifically... For this native community let's look at it again green with a little white piece on top okay okay i think i got it this is unukjuak in quebec uh whoops don't need that anymore okay so i didn't know this city had coverage when you get north in quebec like this all these settlements are extremely small coastal and mostly native canadians that live here so um very very cool location actually and it's something i'm definitely going to remember and if i'm there anytime in the future and i see that bollard I'll know where I am. Fourth round here. Ooh, okay. Well, there's lots of writing. I assume these reflectors are what they're talking about. These little round reflectors in the center with or on the in the center of this concrete barrier with these with these yellow like pylons in the middle and they have red on the back of them. Okay. Okay. Little yellow reflectors. I know which country we're in because it's sort of an, an island feel. There's some English but this is definitely Mandarin. This is not Japanese. I know they look similar, um, but this is Mandarin for sure. And another big hint is that this highway sign here, this number nine is Taiwanese. So I know I'm in Taiwan. I can go in and try and find the number nine. I don't really want to be bothered doing that. Let's just click somewhere like pretty north here. 
but these little yellow reflectors with red on the back found in Taiwan. This is a very, oh, I should probably just click in the mountains somewhere actually, because this feels more mountainous, right? We're in the hills in Taiwan, but these little round yellow reflectors on the concrete barrier. And we were further north. There's the number nine highway, uh, very north in Taiwan. Let's go take a look at the bollard again, drill it into our memory because that's what this series is about. It's about getting better and recognizing these specific bollards or reflectors. So these little yellow pylons in the middle, which clearly this is a newer picture uh, taken in just November in New Taipei City. These are a little darker than they were before. Um, the business is, is still here. They took this part off the sign. Not sure why, but uh, yeah, definitely Taiwanese with these little reflectors. Okay, good. Another country correct. I'm on a great streak of getting the country right right now. Final round. I don't know where this is. I'm going to need to look at some other landscape clues to figure this out. Um, so we're driving on the right, it seems. Very modern houses. Very... Is this just the U.S.? There's some water there. I don't know. This feels maybe more Canadian. 450. Oh, oh, this is French. Are we in Quebec again? So, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So we're in Quebec. Clearly a rich part of Quebec. Where there's some water to the north. I mean, is this just Montreal again? Somewhere on the St. Lawrence River? I'm going to guess like a, a somewhere around Montreal. Maybe Boucherville. Something like this. I'm not sure. I don't know where the rich suburbs are. You see Audis, these incredible houses, but we saw in that earlier round, one of the first rounds, if not the first round, it was a very similar thing where it was bolted to the ground like this, but it was a children playing maximum 30 sign. But this one here looks very similar, but it's a different, different style, but very similar construction. So that's very cool. It was in St. Catherine, a suburb of Montreal, really, uh, just outside Montreal, I guess it's its own place. We were near a park right on the St. Lawrence River, so... Very interesting. So we've got three different Quebec ballers in this video. Um, the two Montreal ones were very similar though. So maybe if you see that style sticking up out of the road, that's a good hint. All in all, 15,600 points, getting five countries in a row right again, with two being in Quebec, one in Michigan, one in central Russia, and one in Taiwan. I think that's overall a successful video. I think it's really helped my bollard knowledge. It's something I'm going to continue to play off camera, of course, as I practice my bollards. There are lots of Google Docs that I can read through as well, but playing these videos really helped me understand where they are, and hopefully it's helping you learn along with me. But that'll do it for this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If, you, if you're really enjoying the content, it'd be really appreciated. I'm Geo Goose, and we'll catch you in the next video.